Okay, not having it back with a uh, video that I'm going to be submitting to Huppet Gaming. I've been a member of Huppet Gaming for a long time, but I'm just now getting around to actually submitting my video to it. And another way of getting more eyes to my content and my channel. This is uh, Kill Confirmed on Dome Modern Warfare 3. Starting off, I'm going to throw a grenade. I always throw a grenade. Everybody throws a grenade. This map is fun. This is my favorite map. It's very small. It's very fast-paced. And I have a very good game on it. I start off very slow. Um, right here, they spawned me in between two people and I didn't know which one to kill this happens a lot in this game and also in this match I'm using the uh, what is this the CM 901 I believe with a red dot sight and the hex uh, pattern I really like this gun I really like the uh, the uh, reload animation you know it's uh it's really good and it really looks sexy to me for some reason it's like it's different and I just like it I don't know I got I had a uh, was that sleight of hand and uh, probably hardline it looks like and uh, I don't know what my third perk was but anyway coming up out of the cave I like I think I'm gonna stay in the cave a lot more when I go in this map because it's uh you can do so much more from in that cave um, but at the same time when you try to come out of the cave you're at a, a bit of a disadvantage because everybody likes to throw grenades into the cave I like to throw grenades into the cave so be mindful of that when you're coming out of that that uh that cave that bunker type situation and um also right there where the tank is and the humvees and everything that is really like a kill zone right there intersection that intersection is really where a lot of the action happens um and um another part is where you spawn at where the um where the containers are on the backside. Um, to the right side of the dome a lot of people like to stick around there because they know of the uh, the spawn spots and everything but um, other than that I'm sticking with the cave uh, that way I could peek out into the uh, the main area of action and see what's going on and then um, I'm just gonna you know patrol that area kind of you know I'm not gonna go in that building that building is kind of a death trap for me um, I'm not gonna go down there where the containers are because that's a bit of a death trap to me um, The actual dome itself that building is iffy sometimes it's really jam-packed and there's always somebody there and sometimes it's not see right there I got spawned in between two people didn't know which one to go to so I end up getting killed I don't know I have to be more decisive I'm gonna kill one of them and most of the time I kill one of them and one of them kills me so I see a bunch of people coming out of this building right now so I land them down I have to reload I lay down the reload thinking that the guy won't see me he saw me I'm dead I respawn I'm back at it I die I respawn I'm back at it uh, I get caught in front of somebody uh, they get killed somebody else comes and I die this game is very notorious for putting me in positions where I, I've respawned and it seems like I'm respawning in front of an enemy that's already shooting the, the spawn points in this game are horrible but I deal with it and especially in this match because at this match started off I wasn't really doing that great but it ended very well I'm not gonna ruin it but I'm, I'm just saying, it ended very good for me. Um, I'm going to stick with the UAV. I like the UAV. Uh, you put Hardline Pro on, it's only two kills. And, and that, that means the world to me. Because you can go and you can actually see what people are doing, where they're moving. I'm talking about the enemies. You see where they're moving. You see where they're spawning. I rely more and more on my UAV. And for people who, um, who are just playing Modern Warfare 3... Or, or just playing Modern Warfare to begin with or do not use the UAV or feel as though they don't need the UAV the UAV lets you see where enemies are utilize it please and I, I like this game in Black Ops because Black Ops had the SR-71 this game has the uh, advanced UAV which tells you the direction that the enemies are going that allows you to flank them effectively and cut them off and then jump out and then take them down without them even knowing what's going on I use the UAV a lot in this match and I've used it a lot more since um, since I started playing this game and also in Black Ops in 
when I first started, I had the UAV. It was cool. It was a cool idea, but I didn't really utilize it. I didn't really utilize the mini map. And in order to be successful in this game, unless you are um, some sort of prodigy in video gaming, you have to use the tools that they give you. The radar. They give you a radar. They give you a UAV. Utilize it. You see me doing it here, and it allows me to get attack helicopters. I'm using the three, five, and seven kill streaks. The uh, UAV, predator missile, and attack helicopter. Those are the ones I feel comfortable with. I don't like using the higher kill streaks because I'm not that skilled yet, and I, I'm not going to really be able to get up there to those kill streaks. I have used the Reaper before. I could use the uh, what is it, the five, seven, and nine kill streaks, but that's about it, and that's all I really need. Right here, I get knifed uh lag compensation is what i'm gonna uh blame that on i could be wrong i don't know but uh lag compensation is a big topic of modern warfare 3 of as, as of late and i have been a victim of it um the hair i am back downstairs in the in the bunker this has been like a honey hole for me and i really i, I never really utilized this i ran through it a couple times but i never really used it and now after this match i'm like hell i need to be using this again i get another predator missile i'm gonna come around the corner i'm gonna pop out the laptop i'm gonna shoot that predator missile and guess what i do guess what i do you see them you see those red squares coming out of the dome that's a triple kill another attack helicopter I'm going berserk in this match. When I was doing it, I was in a zone. I was like, I was completely focused on killing the enemy in this game. And afterwards, I was like, I, I was surprised that I did that much because I normally don't get that many kills in, in that match of Call of Duty. But <sighs> unfortunately, this match is over. Um, I ended up going uh, 31 and I think 16. Uh, let's see. Uh, am I gonna pull it up? I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. There it is. Yeah, 31 and 16. Like, comment, subscribe. Spread the word. I'm not having it. This has been Modern Warfare 3. Puppet Gaming. This video is coming to you exclusively.